What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to color leaves and specifically leaves on a mistletoe leaf. And I'm going to show you how to do that using some Copic markers. Now the Copic markers you'll need for this video are G17, G28, and G29. And there is going to be a possibility that we're going to need C9 to go even darker. So just hang on to that in case we may need it. So that's what's going to go down in the video. And in case you are wondering what color I used for the berries, I used R27, R29, R39, and R59. I used that for the berries and I added a few highlights using some colored pencils. And that's the same thing we're going to do for the leaves as well. So you're going to need a light green colored pencil. Or if you don't have the same green, you can also use a white colored pencil. That'll totally be fine. So with that being said, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down a base color of my G17 on the leaves. And I'm going to do it on just one for now. And then I'm going to time lapse the other leaf and finish the drawing. And then I'm going to take my G28 and this is going to be my mid-tone. That means with this color I can go around the entire leaf and add some shaded parts to it. And the shading is going to go towards the middle so that's why you see me adding lots of ink to this specific area. And also towards the middle of the leaf where this line is and then we're going to blend all that back in. And it's getting pretty dark and I like that but we can also go even darker so that's why I have my G29 I'm gonna tr try to go around the darkest darkest parts and we're gonna blend this for now and see what we get that way we, later on we can determine if we need to add the C9 so I'm gonna go back with my G28 and just work my way backwards Oop, and I forgot to add the G29 to the line. We don't need to add blending to that, but we can if we come across it. And then just go back with the G17 and blend everything back in. Okay, and it looks pretty good. I think we could add like a hint of C9. Um, you can skip this step if you want to, but adding the C9 in here is definitely optional and it's totally up to you. Whatever you guys want to do, you just go ahead. But for me, I just want to go a tiny bit darker here. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. A lot of shading over here, and I definitely like that. So, with that marker ink getting dry, and I'm using Bristol Ward, by the way, um, we can start adding some highlights here. So, I'm just going to go along the other side of the line. Like, right here where I added the shading earlier, I'm just going on the other side of this black line to add the highlights. Just go along that line there. And then also on the darkest parts, like the, where we added the shading. On this side, on the right hand side. Um, again, a white colored pencil could also work. I don't know if I said in the beginning, but the white colored pencil could work. If we don't have this green. All right, and that's looking pretty good. So with the left leaf being finished, I'm gonna time lapse the other leaf so you guys can see an entire full finished illustration. So that's how you color leaves specifically on a mistletoe and that's going to do it for the video. If you liked it, give it a like and a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video.